How's it going, y'all? Carlita here, back with another video on your screen. I'm here with Miss Brittany Brown, all the way, you know, from California, TGB Promotions, and it's it's been a hell of an honor, you know, great time. And uh, how are you doing? How's everything going? So far, so good. We're about to kick off a crazy, crazy couple weeks. So, yeah. I mean, I we have some big, some big, some big fights, right? Oh yeah. So um, with everything going on behind the scenes with TGB, uh, how's everything been going? You know, everyone sees it from the outside, but like behind the scenes, how how hard is it to get all these uh, to be a part of all these events? So it's you know, it was already kind of difficult to begin with, but now with the whole COVID aspect and you never know if it's going to get postponed or canceled or, you know, um, <clears throat> there's really no telling. I used to say until both guys are in the ring and that bell rings, I don't ever feel comfortable or like that it's actually happening. And then when two guys got in the ring and the bell did ring, I mean, and he walked right out. So now I say when the bell rings and punches are thrown, I'll feel like more secure in it. But, um, you know, this weekend we would have had three shows and unfortunately Brandon Figueroa had, you know, gotten sick. So that's postponed. Um, but after that, I mean, we were kicking it off with Fury Wilder three. And then after that, we just go, 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 go. We got Canelo plant just you know came to a, uh agreement with top rank for porter and crawford so we have a big 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 schedule for the end of the year wow that's uh, that's amazing really yeah and um you know to look back a couple of weeks back it feels like a couple of weeks back with uh with the charlo fights how are those uh leading up to the fight, I know that there was a lot of um, animosity that they showed on um, behind the scenes. Oh yeah, I got that, huh? Um, the Castano Charlo fight you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, it seems like so long ago now. When was that? That was back in like three months ago, I wanna say. It was forever ago. Yeah. Um, that was real. That was some real. Uh, that was a real deal. A lot that people didn't see. A lot behind, you know, in the private, um, like love selection meetings and stuff like that. Yeah, that was that was real, but it turned out to be a great fight, right? Oh yeah, for real. And what was your take on the fight? How did how did you feel like the fight was everything was uh, judged and everything? You know, I'm. Uh, I'm a little biased with that because I am Charlo you know, all the way. Yeah. So me sitting there and watching it, sometimes when you're watching it in person and your heart's going one way anyway, yeah. you know, and I haven't rewatched it, but I, I thought it was, I thought the scoring was fair. That was right. Yeah, it was a really close fight and I was, I was amazed, you know, just to be there and, um, to finally see the Charlos up close. Oh yeah. And going through the tunnel and everything. Um I felt the electricity and I felt that I guess they're um everything that they have to offer. I felt that like everything just from being there. And that was amazing. And yeah. uh, you know, leading up, you know, to Tyson Fury and Wilder um finally happening. How do you feel about this coming fight? with, um, you know, everything that this fight's gonna have to offer. I feel so confident. Um, if you've been watching Malik Scott's Instagram and what he's doing out there with Deontay, I mean, they're coming to win. They're coming to win. I, I would bet everything I have on it, mm -hmm. Deontay. But uh, retribution, he's yeah. gonna get that's going to be a crazy it's it's been a crazy build up with a uh, wilder not saying anything but um yeah. just his emotions and the way he moves and everything 
in the videos and um fury the fury is on cloud nine right now it seems like you know he would he has a yeah. lot of views and um this can be crazy october 8th october 9th actually and um with um canelo caleb plant you know i know you said last time when we last interviewed you were like uh canelo who wow did i that's funny <laughs> That was a good one, though. Um, yeah. How do you um, feel about that fight, being a part of that fight, uh, after so many years of not being a part of, you know, a Canelo promotion event, basically? You know, we're just starting out with his team. They're great. I mean, we had a call with them yesterday. Things are, we're going to be, you know, we the tickets went So we're making moves. November's going to be here before you know it. Um, he's all the guys, I mean, been around for so long now too. And um, I'm actually excited to work with him. He's a legend in his own right. I mean, I'm coming in team plant heavy, but respect to Canelo, what he's done and the name he's made for himself. I've been to a couple of Canelo fights in my day. I just haven't worked um, per se. Yeah. So be different. Um, it's going to be huge. It's, awesome opportunity for Caleb and he's going to make the most of it. for sure it's going to be crazy and um you know I really uh, I'm really pushing for Caleb and I want to see um you know a change in boxing that night um you know passing you know basically passing over that vision to Caleb and it's going to be amazing and yeah. I can't wait to see it and how do you feel about you know at the end of this year, which one, or which one event will you be to look back at? Like, yeah, this was my favorite event of twenty twenty one. Well, I guess what? Who knows? These next couple of weeks seem to be pretty big. Um, you know, being back in Vegas for the Pacquiao fight, uh, Pacquiao Ubas, even though. Sucked. Look what I mean, a wrench was thrown into the plans with uh, Spence and I. Yeah. But um, being back in Vegas after so long of not being there. I mean, we haven't been, we haven't done a show since Wilder Fury two. Mm -hmm. So to be, even though it wasn't fully back, like we didn't have the radio row, we didn't have as much, you know, mixing. Closed down a lot of things. Fans weren't really there, but still, you see just the atmosphere of Vegas. Like the MGM has such a specific scent. Yeah. Like when you walk in, you're fight week, and you know, it, it it felt normal again to a certain extent. So I would say that just because of the idea of it being slightly back to normal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I almost forgot about that Uga's fight. And Pacquiao, um, I was really, I was really disappointed, and I was like, man, I bet Brittany's upset now because of all the how it how it ended up like that. And um, you know, I know you're, I know that's your boy over there. You yeah. Know? And then him getting hurt and training and everything, but it, hopefully he has a speedy recovery and he's back. I mean, bounced back from a lot worse, right? Yeah, really. He'll he's he'll be fine. It, it, I felt I felt sad for him because you know you train and you get there and you're ready and to have something that's kind of out of your control like that just it's a letdown. But um, Uga stepped up and boy did he, huh? Yeah, yeah. That was like the biggest fight of his career right there. Um, and he, you yeah. know, so and uh, they don't. I'm. I was blown away by his performance. He Ugas is a great guy too, great guy. I mean, but respect to Manny. Look what Manny's done. In this he's forty something years old and then living legend. Oh, yeah, to be in his presence is like awesome. So yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet, and um, you know, let my subscribers know if um, what um, you know this fight this weekend you know where they can catch it at and um 
your social medias? If they are in the Los Angeles area, they can come on out to Bakersfield. A little far little drive, but uh, we have two days in a row. So we got the 18th uh, live at 4 p.m. on FS1, and then the 19th Sunday Fun Day show, and we go live at 7. So check it out. My social media is Brit underscore GB, right? Yeah. And well, the TGB promotions, everyone's got to start following that page. Stephanie Trapp is running it. She's doing a great job of it. She does better than I do. So hmm. check the page out, get updates on all of our events and some behind the scenes stuff. It's pretty cool. Sounds good. I appreciate it. I know uh, thanks for taking your time out of your day to sit down with me today. I appreciate it again. And uh, much of you and your family and the promotion. And uh, you all, all have all heard it here from the vice president of TGB Promotions you know, legend. And I can't wait for to see all these events happen. And uh, go check out the links. The links will be in the description down below. Go check out the fights this weekend coming up. And uh, remember that one love y'all. Carlito. Thank you. Out. Thanks. All the way. Are we going out tonight? All the way. I'm going to chug the bottle, chug it all the way.